Hi, this is Toby with HMC Electronics. We're going to be taking a closer look at ionization and why it is an important part of any comprehensive ESD program. Good ESD practices call for the removal of any insulators from an ESD safe work area. Unlike conductive materials, insulators cannot drain a charge when connected to ground. Insulating items include common products such as plastic, glass, rubber, wood. Uh, these materials uh, can develop a charge and the resulting electronic field can cause damage to your sensitive electronics. Unfortunately, it is not possible to remove all insulators from a work area as some of these products are actually used to produce your final product. Uh, these insulators are called process essential insulators and can include items such as fixtures, uh, tools, uh, product cases, and even the bare circuit board itself. Since process essential insulators cannot be grounded, the most effective way to reduce their charge is through the use of ionization. Uh, ionizers create an abundance of positive and negative ions that flood the work area through air movement, the fan here. The positive and negative ions combine with the opposite polarity and on the charged object and render it neutral. It is important that the ionizer over its working life continues to produce a balance of positive and negative ions. Any imbalance could actually create a charge on the object that you're trying to neutralize. The BFN series of ionizers from Transforming Technologies with inherently stable AC technology provide an excellent balance and rapid charge decay for your ESD workstation. Let's stop here on AC technology. What is that? You'll see that on ionizers, AC technology and DC technology. AC technology is alternating current technology that enables each emitter point. The uh, emitter points produce on a DC unit either positive or negative ions. On an AC unit, each emitter point is emitting both positive and negative, which is why it is inherently balanced. If you lose an emitter point on an AC unit, it may not be flooding as many ions onto the workstation, but the ions that it is flooding are still balanced. On a DC unit, if one emitter point goes down, your ionizer is no longer balanced. The typical ion balance on a BFN unit is less than plus minus 10 volts with a decay time of less than two seconds. As you can see here, the BFN series is available in three different models. Your BFN 801, benchtop unit here on its stand, which can also be mounted inside a piece of machinery. The BFN 802, BFN 803, BFN 802, two fan air overhead ionizer with LED lighting. BFN 803, one, two, three, three fans, two lights. Both of these units are designed to be mounted uh, from a hanging position. They come with brackets, hang them above your workstation, and I think you'll find that these lights give off plenty of light should you actually be blocking your overhead light when you do that. All air ionizers obviously contain fans. Fans do produce a slight amount of noise. Uh, what we advise when setting up any air ionizer is not turning it to the highest setting and going from there, but rather starting at the lowest setting and then working from there with a field meter to see if you're getting the decay rate, decay time that you need. Um, you'll be surprised at how low you can run these fans and they're still very, very productive uh, because of, again, the amount of ions, positive and negative, the emitter points are producing. Uh, we'd like to take a moment and thank Transforming Technology for lending us these three ionizers to, to shoot for your viewing pleasure. I've uh, been blowing in here for a little while, in fact making this room so neutral that uh, Switzerland has actually declared us here a sovereign state. If you do have any further questions about ionization and the Transforming Technologies line, drop us an email, give us a call. Thanks for watching and happy soldering.